Assalamu alaikum. Today we'll be discussing the fourth lecture in this series of uh, radioactivity. So last one was the one in which we discussed the uh, fission and fusion and nuclear reactor and we discussed star formation. Today we'll be discussing um, background radiations and we'll be discussing hazards which are uh, caused by radioactive emissions and uh, what precautions we must take and some applications which are related to this radioactive emissions. So first of all, origin and effect of background radiation. So there are two types of uh, uh, origins. Number one is natural and the other one is man-made exposure. The natural one is uh, we have radioactive material in rocks. So it can leak into the atmosphere and we can have uh, uh, radioactive emissions in atmosphere. And we have also cosmic rays coming from this space, which carries uh, radioactive emissions. So we have some uh, emissions. Uh, we can have some count rate in laboratory, even when there is no uh, radioactive source present nearby. So that is known as uh, background radiations and uh, uh, second uh, source is manual exposure. Now you know there are some power stations uh, near cities. Uh, for example, we have Canop power plant near Karachi and we have military tests and uh, we can fly to the areas where we have these background emissions and it is also being used in med medical diagnosis and in medical treatments. So we have a presence in our environment also. So these are some sources due to which we have some background radiations. And uh, uh, if we have some readings onto the uh, Geiger Muller tube, GM tube, even if there is no source nearby. Second, <clears throat> there are some dangers of nuclear radiations. So first of all, I would like to mention some disasters here. So I hope all of you would be aware to some of them. So during Second World War, at the end, US forces bombed two cities of Japan uh, with nuclear bombs, and there were 40,000 deaths. And uh, since then, there has been mutation even in the infants, newborn children, uh, due to nuclear radiation. So that is a very uh, like dangerous thing about this nuclear radiations. It can cause cell mutation and uh, there can be deformity in newborn uh, children. Then there were some disasters in nuclear power plants. Now this Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster in 2011 that was caused due to tsunami and uh, then we had Chernobyl disaster in Russia. Then we had Zumaile Island accident and so on. So what can be the problems? Uh, exposure to nuclear radiation can cause radiation burns, which cause sores and blisters. Over exposure can cause uh, biological cell damage, leukemia, blood cancer, eye cataracts, cell mutation. So these are some hazards of nuclear radiations. So we'll be observing some precautions, which are like you can never eat in an area with the uh, presence of nuclear radioactive material. And uh, we must be storing it in lead boxes. And, uh, Workers, uh, if workers are uh, working in that facility, they must be wearing lead lined suits and they must be uh, using dosimeters or film badges so that they can be observed for the exposure to radioactive emissions. And uh, they must be abandoning contaminated clothes and uh, they must be not, they must not be touching it directly. So because we have some sources uh, like alpha uh, radioactive emission, alpha emission, uh, which is very like uh, ionizing effect is more and it can pose a larger threat if you 
eat in that area or you touch it directly or if you are near that source so that will be hazardous so this is the symbol which we use on the boxes where we have these uh, uh, radioactive materials so that must be handled with precaution now we have some <clears throat> applications also uh, we have medical treatments going on using this alpha meters and uh, for example killing tumor cells then we have some applications in industry beta meters are used when determining the thickness of a paper or it is also used to kill germs it is also used in the process of automation and in smoke detectors it's also used in tracers now uh, one is mentioned here gamma emitters are used when radiation has to be the human body to be detected for diagnosis it's also used in uh, uh, identifying the leakage in the pipes underground pipes also so there are many applications of this radioactive emissions one very important application uh, i got to, forgot to mention one that is it's used as a source of energy is most used. Uh, we also use radioactive emissions and uh, calculation of half-life and archaeological dating. So living objects, uh, for example, wood, bone, seeds, they will be absorbing these radioactive emissions through the atmosphere. And since they are alive, uh, that radioactive emissions count activity will remain almost constant but after the for example if we cut down a tree and we use it to make some furniture or something so now it's not um, it's not taking in any more uh, material so its activity will start decreasing so <clears throat> its age can be determined from this activity, uh, its half life is 5,730 years. And uh, after some years, after hundreds of years, if uh, its half life is, uh, its activity is seen, then it can be measured, it can be compared with the half life chart, and its age can be determined. So I hope we discuss this topic in very detail. <clears throat> radioactivity and um, you need to put some comments below you can put up your queries so that will be answered inshallah so i hope you'll be commenting you'll be liking and you'll be subscribing to the channel